You wouldn't expect to drive through a residential neighborhood to get to an Oceanside Preserve, but that's exactly what you have to do to get to the John R. Bonner Nature Park in Largo, Florida. The park is directly across the harbor from Indian Rocks Beach Nature Preserve, but closer to the Narrows. As you can see when we zoom in, there's only one boardwalk through the middle of the park, along with a little paved trail that goes through the jungle section. Hey everybody, a little bit of a uh, unexpected stop. I didn't realize how much time we would have after the last uh, nature preserve. So we're here at the John R. Bonner Nature Park, which is just down the road from uh, the last place that we were at over at uh, Central Park Nature Preserve. So we're gonna check this out, see what's here. Um, I don't know what it is, or I haven't even seen any pictures about it, but we just found it and uh, we'll take a little walk around and see what's here. When entering the boardwalk, you're immediately surrounded by shallow water streams filled with small fish and a popular manatee munchie, seagrass. As we look up, the entire park is one massive mangrove forest as far as you can see. But the big draw of this park is at the end of the boardwalk. The mangroves split open, unveiling a covered dock that boasts an amazing view across the harbor. Just like Indian Rocks on the other side of the harbor, this is a popular spot to watch manatee. But today, I guess they didn't feel like hanging out. As I already mentioned, the park is completely covered with beautiful and sprawling mangroves. There seems to be some older, more established trees on this side of the harbor as opposed to Indian Rocks. And that's it for the boardwalk section of the park. It's time to turn our attention to the jungle. We first make our way down the paved path past a man-made pond, which is a little awkwardly placed in the middle of a grassy area. On the palm trees around the pond, there have been several bat houses installed. Bats are employed across Florida as a natural mosquito repellent. If you look up, you'll find lots of bat houses around local parks and public spaces. After passing the pond, we enter the dense jungle area of the park. And man, was it humid in there. When I came out the other side, my sweat was sweating. When I entered this section, I heard something stomping through the dried brush and I immediately thought, gator? But no, it was just a shy little box turtle. Like, really shy, especially for something that sounded like a gator. Moving on, I started exploring some of the vegetation. One thing that stood out to me about the Bonner Nature Park is how naturally everything is kept. It was really cool to see these palm trees that aren't trimmed up to look like a postcard. Totally different feel. The variety of vegetation is crazy in this little section. I even ran into a patch of wild snake plants. A common house plant, also known as mother-in-law's tongue, the snake plant is native to Africa, but can be found growing wild in Florida and Hawaii. I was so distracted by the snake plant that I didn't even see that chubby little fluff ball hopping around. You don't normally associate tropical climates with rabbits, but the Eastern Cottontail doesn't care what you think. This versatile little fella can be found as far north as Canada, all the way down to South America. At home in the Northeast, we walk past these rabbits all day, so it's kind of funny to see one of them hopping around through a palm forest. And here's another common house plant growing like crazy in the wild. This is the inch plant, formerly known as Wandering Jew. They're actually considered invasive in the American Southeast, but they sure are pretty. As we exit the jungle, we're hit with one of the strangest trees I've ever seen. These are the signature mangled roots of a fig tree. But that's not a fig tree on top. As we climb to the sky, we see that, nope, there's actually a palm tree growing right through the middle of that giant fig. You have to see it to believe it. I didn't know what to expect coming here because it looked like a really small park, but 
turned out to be pretty cool. Saw a lot of wildlife. Um, no manatees today, but uh, did see some interesting southern wildlife around the parts of turtle. Didn't expect to see a turtle in the woods, but overall, cool little spot. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.